social Saturday. Wow. Um, <laughs> how long has it been? Um, three? Is it three or four weeks now? I don't know. Um, I'm lost completely. Completely lost. But anyway, yep, social Saturday. I'm here. Hi, guys. As per usual, hers a mess. I don't care. Um, yeah, there's not actually <laughs> very much to catch you guys up on, other than we did it, guys. We did it. We made 1,000 subbies. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Amazing. Um, also, nice new added YouTube perk. Now we've got to 1,000 subbies. We have a um, community tab. So those of you guys who are not on other social media like facebook and instagram I, I post to twitter i've said this before i post to twitter but i don't use it um predominantly facebook then instagram i do post to twitter but only because instagram tells me it does it for me um but yeah so for those of you who aren't on other social media and only really follow us on youtube check out the community tab um because I can now post pictures and posts and stuff to there like I would do any other social media platform without having to sit here and do a video to update you guys. I can just post to the com post to the community tab. So keep an eye out on that. When you go to the home page, it's along the top where there's home videos, playlist. I think it says channels next is it channels where it shows you which channels I'm subscribed to and then it's community and then something else or whatever about something whatever it's on that top row anyway um but yeah so we've got our own little community tab now which is awesome um I've already posted a few posts on there mainly as a um let's give it a try and see what this is all about kind of thing I don't know if it sends notification to you subscribers I don't know or whether it just pops up I have no idea how it works um, but it's there anyway guys so check it out um, other than that there's been a bit of an issue not just with our channel with all YouTube channels and just YouTube in general with subscribers not getting notifications from when videos post um, Laurie, I know you've been having issues with that, and a lot of other a lot of other subscribers from other channels have as well. It's popped up a few times in the Facebook groups. Um, not our problem, guys. Well, not our problem. It's not due to us. It's not an an issue, a problem on or an issue on our part. It's YouTube out YouTube algorithms or something or other. You know, they're always changing things up. Um, but yeah, so Marta over at Marami's Small Art did a video on this before and suggested um, going to your favourite channels that you're not getting the notifications for and clicking unsubs unsubscribe, refresh your page, then subscribe again and it'll give you the option for notifications, click the bell icon and it'll give notifications for all... Um, got what it says now there's all and then sort of like some or popular or something click on the all icon and it should then send you all the notifications Laurie I know did that here on our channel um because she wasn't getting notifications anymore so she said she'd give it a she'd given it a try and it's still not working for her but you know maybe it might work for others maybe it might work in a little bit when YouTube have finished doing whatever they're doing um but it's worth a try guys not just for us any channels you know any of your favorite channels that you're not getting any notifications from maybe give it a try just pop over and unsubscribe refresh your page maybe work wait 10 20 30 seconds a minute or two then subscribe again and click the note the little bell icon and do it that way it might just work it has worked for me in the past with other channels um but you know I don't tend to rely on notifications myself for channels I watch on a regular basis because I have them all in a bookmarks folder. I work from the PC 
and I watch majority of my YouTube YouTube channels that I like through that bookmarks folder. I do go to my subscriptions list, um, but I also click on the um, my favourite YouTube channels folder and I go down them all one by one as well in there because my subscription list only tends to show the videos that I've been watching the most recent. Um, when I click on that it kind of brings up videos of the channels that I've been watching a lot of recently. So if I've not watched a channel for a few weeks and then I've binge watched, I get... <laughs> I thought someone would come in then. Um, sorry guys, it's the boiler kicking in. Um, would you believe it, the heating's just come on? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, my um, subscriptions on YouTube, when I go to subscriptions, it just shows my kind of most recent watched stuff the channels of the most recent watched videos so if I binge watch a channel two or three of their videos or more because I haven't watched them for a few weeks or whatever or a few days it then tends to bump those up the top of the subscriptions list the subscription speed so you don't always see your favorite channels if you haven't visited them for a while anyway that is so I always have a bookmarks tab on my internet browser on the PC in my bookmarks folder across the top. I have a bookmarks folder there with all my favourite YouTube, YouTube channels in and I'll go through them myself rather than relying on YouTube. Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> just thought we'd clear that up. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I was saying... Despite all that, I'm not getting enough notifications. If you want to keep a tab on this channel, as well as all your other favourite channels, watch them. Not, they have a community tab. Check that. They might do the same. Check the community tab rather than checking for notifications. But also, what I was going to say here, yeah, nearly, nearly eight minutes in and I'm deviating again. What I was also going to say with regards to that is, with this channel me and this channel Monday, Wednesday, Fridays I pre-record videos as and when I can I will bulk film when I can or I will do one or two a day or whatever and that was the tablet I'm thinking did I put my phone in airplane mode because it just buzzed it wasn't my phone it my um, tablet's behind you um yeah but like I said, I pre-record when I can, I'll bulk film when I can, and then I upload, edit, upload, blah, blah, blah. And I will schedule them for Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays every week. And they go out at 12.15 midnight GMT time, which is where I am in the UK. This is my time. So at quarter past midnight, my time, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so theoretically it'll be quarter past 12 midnight Tuesday <laughs> um, there will be a video go up on this channel they are scheduled every Monday Wednesday Friday for 12 15 a.m. Um, but yes yeah, so oh no it's not Tuesday it is Monday morning yeah so here in the UK if you're watching it is Monday 12.15 a.m. Monday morning is when it goes out. <laughs> to you guys, it'll be whatever your local time is. My subscribers are predominantly American-based. They are predominantly spread throughout the USA. And I just went and Googled a lot of different American time zones compared to ours. And the popular ones seem to be, for me to do it here at 12 15 a.m is pretty much tea time at your time so it's arranging from five o'clock till seven o'clock usa time p.m usa time which according to my youtube stats is a good time for you guys to be watching so i'm like right okay then we'll be in bed when they go up but you know my viewer base is american predominantly so you guys watch it before us anyway so i'll cater to you guys like you do um, so you guys get to see it before we do 
if we're awake at quarter past midnight we get to watch it anyway but then when I wake up in the morning like if I wake up when I wake up Monday morning uh any time between seven onwards well now Taylor's back at school seven o'clock between seven and eight um I wake up and because you guys have it's gone up midnight here but you guys have already seen it because it's tea time there I wake up to some really lovely messages so it's really it's a bit of a confidence boost for me in the morning as well but yeah so like Laurie was saying I don't I've not been getting notifications so I, I don't know when you're posting videos well every Monday Wednesday Friday guaranteed unless there is a major issue going on at home or whatever every Monday Wednesday Friday there will be a video up except for yesterday it went up later on because I scheduled it no I uploaded it and forgot to schedule it Oops. Um, but it was there I just forgot to schedule it to go public um, but yeah so it was scheduled but it was still private <laughs> um, but it was there it was there and then like this um, social Saturday tutorial Thursday pardon me all other kind of videos in between go up as and when I don't even know a time I'm doing this now today is it the 5th today or the 4th today is Saturday the 5th of August September sorry going back in time today is Saturday the 5th of September this is my social Saturday video for this week but I don't know what time this is going to go up probably another half an hour before I finish actually talking to you guys but then I've got to go and edit it um, upload it in the meantime I need to nip across to mum's with Taylor for him to try some new school pants on for her to take a, an inch or two off the bottom of them because they're too long you know, it could be any time from it's 12 21 p.m. now um, so it could be any time from one o'clock till tea time you know when this goes up so I can't put a time on the videos that go up in between but now we have the community tab I can put a little note in there saying roughly when I think it might go up so anyway yeah 12 minutes and I've waffled about rubbish yeah anyway <laughs> so that's pretty much covered that um can't you tell my mind's elsewhere I am very, very, very preoccupied. Very. Um, Taylor went back to school on Thursday. Like I said, it's Saturday now. Taylor went back to school on Thursday, just gone for the first time in 24 weeks. Yesterday. Yesterday, which was Friday, was 24 weeks to the day since they sent them home from school because of, uh, well, back then, nationwide lockdown. Um, it went on for quite some time, did that. Then they started lifting it in dribs and drabs and oh how long about three week maybe three maybe four weeks tops out of not completely out of lockdown but pretty much back to being able to visit friends and family keep still keep your distance kind of thing but you can go back to visiting friends and family and shopping pretty much back to normal just wear a mask sort of thing no more queuing up outside keep your distance in the shop that sort of thing and then bam we end up back in local lockdown because stats went ha went ballistic and what have you. But it didn't do that for our area. That was really strange. It kind of did. But when they was talking about local lockdowns um, being enforced, our area, which is Hindburn, didn't feature. They never mentioned it. But then when they released it late at night saying as of an hour's time i think it were whatever tonight these areas are in lockdown we got thrown in there so happy days taylor's coming down i think one sec hi buddy oh sorry i'm filming hi what are you up to? Okay. Are you going to put your hand over and wave? Say hello. No? I just did. Oh, I didn't see you. <laughs> no, it's gone in the kitchen and shut the door. Um, 
But yeah, like I said, they just threw us in there with the other local areas. So it was like, well, great, thanks. <laughs> no kind of warning. But we're out now. Um, as of Wednesday, this Wednesday just gone, we're back to the normal whatever status lockdown we're in. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been that long. Um, but pretty much back to how we were before we got went in local lockdown so we were able to visit friends and family again, keep your distance, all that stuff, blah, 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 wear masks in shops. Yeah. During lockdown, the local lockdown, um, we went on holiday. We was a bit, do we, don't we? It wasn't already booked, but it was our usual time to go on holiday, August, before... Taylor went back to school and oh, I really need to get away, I need a break, I've had enough. But I don't know if we can, we're being in a local lockdown area, so we went on the website. Um, they, on the website it said it was okay, on the holiday website it said it was okay. So I went a googling on the government website. And on the government website, it, even, it stated even on the government website on the guidelines for local area lockdowns that holidaying is okay, providing you stay within the country um, and you're in self-contained lodgings, which we were because we were going to a Haven holidays camp and we would have been in a caravan, which by nature are socially distanced anyway. So we went. We went back to um, the Golden Sands camp in Lincolnshire in Mablethorpe in Lincolnshire so yeah and we had a brilliant time we did absolutely nothing <laughs> it was great um well we did we did bits we ventured out into Mablethorpe itself um myself and Taylor wore masks Taylor did when he felt he could he did brilliant actually guys there were only once he didn't but it was really really warm that day even I was struggling breathing. It was really warm that day. And he's just like, no, mum, I've had enough. I'm like, you're okay. I printed out a card saying I am exempt, blah, blah, blah. And if you feel uncomfortable, show that. Never needed it. It was brilliant. Um, what are you up to? I'm back upstairs. All right. I'm just telling them about our holiday. Well, it was really something. We had fun, didn't we? Yeah, even in quarantine, it was still nice. It was nice to get away, weren't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep your noise down up there. I know. Um, but yeah, so like I said, other than just wandering off into town to go and play in the amusements and do charity shop rub, I loved it. I went back to my favourite charity shop where I got a load of stuff from last year and got a load of stuff this year again. I've already done the videos on that. Um, the craft old videos on that. We had some fun with them. Um, yeah, bought some new shoes, <laughs> like you do. <laughs> Taylor bought some new sandals because we were going to go to the beach, but he'd left his like beachy sandals at home, flip floppy things at home, so we bought some more. Um, but yeah, and on the last day, which was the Thursday, we went Monday to Friday, and on the last day, Thad Man were a bit oh, I'm knackered, you know, do you mind if I don't come with you? I'm like, no, it's fine, me and Taylor will go. We went to the beach, me and Taylor, we went to the beach and we had an awesome time. Also, that morning before we went to the beach, Taylor got his exam results and he did it, guys. He got his predicted grades. So, yes, getting fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, he was really, really, really anxious about that because, um, of course, it, it didn't help either that it was on the news and the radio and everything and the build up to it and all the farce over not giving students predicted grades and going off the average and whatever so if they hadn't done quite as well as they should have done they were dragging them down because of the other students and all that sort of stuff then they suddenly did a massive u-turn at the last minute and said well we are going to go with your predicted grades providing the you know, not below a certain amount, we'll go with your predicted grades. If they're under, then you'll get this, whatever it were anyway. But he got his predicted grades, so yay! Go Taylor! But yeah, so awesome. Um, Or from what I can gather, he got his predicted grades. Either way, they're fantastic grades, so I'm happy. Even if they weren't predicted grades, I'm happy, and he's happy with the grades that he did get. So, yay. Um... We was very, very fortunate that he didn't need grades 
high grades or whatever to carry on to do what he wanted to do because he was just going back to the same school moving up into the college department he would have done that anyway without predicted grade whether he'd passed failed or or otherwise he still would have gone up into the college department anyway so we're very very fortunate um but it's just it was a real buzz that day that he managed that he got it so we were already on a bit of a high from that and i'm like right buddy it's entirely up to you now what we do today this is the last day and it's your day what do you want to do he's like i want to go to the beach I'm like okay let's go so we grabbed our stuff after dinner and everything grabbed our stuff and we toddled off to the beach had a really good time did a video um actually i did two i did the same video twice because the first video i did edit um sped it up a little bit added music and then laurie and a couple of other subbies are like oh i really wish you hadn't done that i wish you, you know this is one video that we wish you hadn't sped up and added the music to we really love the sound of the ocean so i just did it again with the full video without any editing i'm like this is for you laurie <laughs> um but yeah and taylor wasn't he was there with me but not actually there at the seafront with me he were like he were about 10 feet behind me <laughs> um watching all bags and everything and i'm just stood there like oh this is amazing <laughs> getting wet um yeah but oh it were awesome it re oh, it were brilliant we did ab other than that we did absolutely nothing went to the restaurant a couple of times first two days we were there we had to pre-book um, full table service we didn't have to leave the table which were amazing you know i didn't have to go and queue up to order they came to us um it were brilliant and then wednesday and thursday wednesday we had fish and chips from mablethorpe thursday we had takeout um taylor got chip here me and me and thag man had pizza up um we always have a takeout up last night anyway and then we came on friday so but yeah it was amazing like so the rest of the time when we weren't out gallivanting we were just literally chilling around in the caravan doing nothing watching telly listening to music playing games just doing nothing it was fantastic absolutely amazing taylor didn't even want to go on the go-karts this year didn't want to do anything we couldn't go swimming yet it was part of the package deal we were like on a haven hideaway kind of package where swimming wasn't included neither was the nightclub we don't do the nightclubs with Taylor anyway. It's too noisy for him. He doesn't like the crowds. We do swimming. Our holidays do predominantly consist of swimming, eating <laughs> and go-karts. Um, but we didn't do that this year. We'd, swimming wasn't included, but it wasn't. We didn't lose sleep over it. It didn't ruin anything. We still had an amazing time and we struck very lucky and got some fabulous weather. It was warm, a little bit stuffy because it was also raining at times but at the times when it did rain we were in the caravan or we were just getting out the car to go into the caravan it missed we got caught in it once and that was literally getting out the car to go in the caravan but unpacking the shopping at the same time um but other than that it were brilliant we watched it and it were like we couldn't get caught in that and it weren't half bucketing it down thundering and a lot i'm thinking uh, I don't like thunder and lightning to start with. Like, we're going to get caught in that when we go for tea later on. And then within about half an hour before we were getting ready to go for tea, completely stopped, clouds cleared, blue skies, and it were really warm again. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. But then as soon as we got back to the caravan later on, an hour after we got back, psh, straight back down again. It were <laughs> like it were waiting for us. It were awesome. Yeah, we had a brilliant time and even though we did absolutely nothing compared to what we normally do we came back feeling really refreshed batteries definitely recharged i came back in a a completely different frame of mind than what i went in um mental health wise as well as physical health wise still not 100 percent, and i'm a lot better now than i was still not 100 percent, but a lot lot better um but yeah, that holiday was definitely, definitely needed. Um, but yeah, so happy days. I cannot remember. I think I did update you guys on the health side of things in the last video. Um, all my results came back fine apart from it picked up the fact that I have high cholesterol. So I have to go on a new, a new diet. Um, 
and exercise that sort of thing and go back in six months for another blood test to check because it's unclear at the moment whether it's um health style related or a genetic thing because both my parents have cholesterol anyone well, everybody has cholesterol but you know it's a, it's an issue it's a hereditary thing i have had it before when i was younger but it was controlled by diet and exercise you know not exercise like going to gym and working out just general exercise um so but we're a bit like that at the moment whether or not it's this or that so make the changes and see how that goes and in six months time if nothing's changed after i've made these changes if nothing's changed with the um readings of how high it is then i'll need medication but other than that you know everything came back clear and there was ums and ahs about well i'm i'm not happy with the results because apart from the cholesterol i still think there's something there but the way i am now looking back then i'm not sure i'm kind of all going down the route of like third man said i think it was just a little bout of depression being stuck in not being able to do anything feeling like a caged animal sort of thing um you know you nobody likes the feeling of being told what you can and can't do um but yeah i don't know we're keeping a, we're keeping a very close eye on it anyway i am feeling a whole lot better still a few iffy days but yeah i feel so much better i have so much more energy now taylor's gone back to school now i was setting my alarm and getting up in the mornings anyway pre prior to this but now taylor's back at school and i know i have to get up in the morning otherwise he's going to be late for school and i won't have time to make his lunch and this that and other and blah de blah now he's back at school it's only been the two days but the difference in those two days when it comes to getting up in the morning and having a focus has been unreal. Um, I've been on a complete buzz. So, I mean, it's Saturday now. I could have had a lie in. I did, actually, until my daughter woke me up with a phone call. Um, but I woke up not like, oh, God, it's weekend. Everything's caught up on me. I woke up and I'm like, right, what do I do today? What I need something to do. I'm full of energy. So, and I wanted to do a video. I do not like this. Even now, I still do not like this being in front of the camera. But I sat there and I'm thinking, I'm going to do a social chat today. I haven't done one for ages. Not really much to report. I haven't done one for ages. I really want to do a video. So here I am. <laughs> Waffling as usual. Um, but you guys must like this because you still come back for more. But yeah, so... I went out shopping with mum yesterday to the charity shop. Um, we actually went out of town to a charity shop at Blackburn. Not too far out of town. It's just like one of the next towns over type thing. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I always call it Salvation Army. And it's not, it's cancer research. But it's a big shop. It's like our favourite charity shop to go to. It's a big shop and they always have loads of amazing stuff in there. Um, there's always bargains to be had in there. Well, yesterday was an amazing bargain day. I haven't done this craft haul video yet, so this is spoilers, guys. Yeah, look what I got. And this might be some of nothing to you guys, but look what I got, guys. I got the meerkats from comparethemeerkat.com. Market meerkat. How cool is that? And they were only two quid each. And baby all like, it's so cute. So cute. He hasn't got his little glow bug worm thing weem though. But even so, he were only two quid. But little baby all like. This is, oh, I've forgotten her name. The receptionist. What's she called? Oh, it says on the bottom, on the label. It is. Hey, what's she called? Maya. Maya. Not Mia, Maya. She's the receptionist. And then we have Alexander. Is it Alexander? Yeah, Alexander. The main meerkat. <laughs> He's so cute. And like I said, two quid each, guys. I don't I mean I bought. I know they're official ones and it says so official products of Miyakovo. I know that's back to front on the camera, but you know. They are the official 
toys. They're not replicas or cheap fakes. They, they're all got the official label on them. Um, but I bought them for grandbabies to play with. I'm like, oh my God, we are cats. We need them. We need them. Um, the labels will get took off and they will get stuffed in the tub for the babies to play with. But these, oh my God, guys, on Amazon. Amazon's not so bad. They're around 20, 22 quid each in the boxes. But on eBay and places like that, they're selling these for ridiculous prices. Ridiculous. I know he hasn't got his little glow bug worm thing with him, but baby or leg and his glow bug... I looked it up yesterday and on eBay there's one on there for 150 quid and it's like what and that's on an auction not a buy it now that's on an auction I'm like you crazy I got it for two quid and he's mine you're not having it it's so cute um <laughs> yeah so that'll be for the grandbabies to play with and I'm sorry guys anybody's like like no don't do it don't do it the toys it's like these these 50 p's I'm going to get some flack for this. I know I am. This is... <laughs> yes, Mother and Dana, this is aimed at you. But, like, these 50p's with Peter Rabbit on and things like that. Guys, it's 50p. <laughs> but it's worth it. No, it's 50p. But it's worth this. Well, it's only worth that if you put it on eBay and sell it and someone buys it at that. Otherwise, it's 50p. <laughs> I'll get some stick for that. I know I will. I know I will. Probably not just off my mum and Dana, probably off anybody else who's watching going, oh my God, that woman's crazy. I've spent loads. <laughs> they sent Taylor home from school with one. Oh my gosh, when were it? About 18 months ago, they were doing a school trip or summer or whatever, sponsor money or something or other, and I sent him in with some money and this 50p were in there, whatever, all right, there you go, 50p. Um... And they sent it home with him in a sealed envelope. They rung me and told me they were sending him home with it. And I was like, well, it's 50p. Yeah, but it's got the Peter Rabbit then, whichever character it were on the back. And, you know, they're worth a lot of money. I'm like, it's 50p. It's part of his trip money. Oh, no, 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 no. It's all right. It's all right. We'll send that home with him. Don't worry about that. Well, I'll send another 50p in with him. No, no, it's okay. But we're sending this one back. It's worth money, you know. But because they told Taylor it was worth money, he wouldn't give it me back. So it's in a tub in the safe. It's 50p, guys. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, I got this bag. I love this bag. Is it? Is it? I'm actually keeping it as a bag. Um, this won't like refocus properly because I'm in selfie mode. But um, is it really bad that when I spotted it, first instinct wasn't to use it as a bag. It was, oh, look at them ruffles. <laughs> I can take them off and use them in journals. <laughs> and then I can use that as a journal cover. So I can use the back of the bag as a journal cover. And then I can use the ruffles on the journal pages. Mum's like, Really? <laughs> it's really bad, that, isn't it, guys? But since then, I've decided, actually, no, I'm going to keep it. Um, so tempted, though. It, it, it might, one day, end up as a journal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do amuse myself, as you can tell. Um, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm not... I will show you this. Um, books there are normally two for a pound we went yesterday and somebody not all somebody had asked how much of these and she'd said um they're two for a pound but this week only they are five for a pound and i'm like okay okay <laughs> i already had three anyway but i'm like okay so i went rooting for some more and i'll show you this one look at this how gorgeous is that cover this actually is the art of sewing traditional favorites and it's a book about sewing um i'm not sure if it's hand sewing or sewing on a machine sewing i think it's hand sewing it's on about the art of sewing obviously traditional favorites so um i think it's all hand sewing i don't think it were on about a machine i think it is hand sewing um, I didn't look for a copyright date, so I don't know when it's from. 1975. Wow, that's five years older than me. Yeah, 
45 year old guys um yeah so 1975 um but yeah so i'm gonna gut this book I, well my original thought was to was to gut it and then obviously use it and it's quite a big book it's not a4 but it's a big book this way wise and that way it's quite wide and i thought my original plan was to gut it and because this is already decorated that's already decorated but that has the traditional the title on it traditional favorites my idea was to leave that as is leave that as is and then just wrap some lace to cut around it to cover that and that up and that's it that's what i'm that's actually what i am going to do i'm going to do that on you know i'm just going to cover that that up but this side and this side is staying exactly the same i'm not even going to decorate it it's staying as is um because it's beautiful anyway but then i thought well i'm not going to gut it i'm going to alter it we're going to do an actual altered book so that will entail ripping some of the pages out and leaving some in and we're go i'm going to try doing an altered book but this is a big book so i don't know how i'm going to go about doing it yet um so yeah there's your sneaky peek at that because i haven't done the craft haul video on them yet um but yeah so we went to the charity shop with mum yesterday and got them the other week the other week last week monday i think it were I went with mum to Aussie Mills, our local kind of mill factory shopping outlet kind of thing. Um, I went there to buy Taylor's new school tie because they have a, like a shop in there that sells the school's uniform. Um, I went to get the tie because I weren't going into town. They were queuing for miles outside because everybody leaves everything till the last minute and it's a small, it's a big shop but they've loads of stuff crammed in there so it's very claustrophobic and they were making people queue up outside and it was raining so I'm like no I'll go Aussie Mills we went down there got him a new tie and of course on the way out <laughs> yeah uh, you'll see this video before you see that craft haul video on the way out we walk through the entrance to the works you don't have to go through the works to get to the checkout, but we all, you, instead of going that way through the works, you can just go that way to the checkouts, but we instinctively, instinctively just always go through that bit. So we're there in the works and I was like, oh, craft heaven. Um, yeah, so I, I, I spent a fortune. <laughs> um, yeah, and got loads and loads and loads of stuff. Let's sneaky peek at this. This is not going to make it into the video. Even the, um, the, craft haul video that I do after doing this but um, this is going to be a present for somebody because I spotted it in the charity shop yesterday and I was like oh my gosh um, yeah <clears throat> so that's going to be making its way to somebody special in the post guys <laughs> sorry had to um stop recording and then i've come back a um, couple of hours after actually only a second to you guys with a couple of hours for me third man come home and i wasn't expecting it took me by surprise and it's <laughs> it makes me laugh it's so funny how I, I don't like filming when he's around as soon as he come out i heard him coming through the door so it was like oh quick turn it off and then i've come out and i'm like you're back early like i would <laughs> feeling like i'm doing something i shouldn't be doing acting all suspicious he's like you've been videoing i'm like yeah <laughs> i don't know why because he's perfectly fine no problem he sneaks in half at time and you know i hear him coming anyway just like i hear taylor coming down so i do tend to be able to stop what i'm doing and go talk to him and then come back later kind of thing but it's really funny because he'll come in and it's like quick turn it off and act like nothing's happening <laughs> pretend i haven't been doing anything such a stupid feeling <laughs> anyway yeah so it's really funny um but yeah so here we are again a couple of hours later for me a uh, second for you guys um being to my brother's burger bus for dinner i actually went across to mum's with taylor for him to try his school pants on taylor i'm filming okay just letting you know what are you doing is it pause no i'm still recording what are you doing Getting prawn crackers. 
All right, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's still recording. Um, yeah, as I was saying, anyway, took him across to Mum's room to try some new pants on, and as I was saying previously, he needed taking up a little bit, and they are completely different pants, and even though they're the same size waist, the new ones that we got for him to, the ones that he were trying on, said they were a slim fit, so they were the same size waist, but a little bit slimmer fitting, too small. So, but slightly diff, complete, well, slightly, completely different style, fastenings and everything, pants wise, so they need to go back, um, and take them back and change them for hopefully some of the other style pants that we got that we know is okay, or I'll get a refund and we'll go Tesco or somewhere and get them. Them ones came from the Asda. Um, but yeah, and then it's Saturday, and normally non-lockdown restrictions and everything like that, normally Saturday would be Taylor's treat day, and after a full week at school, Saturday would be his treat day. When he was younger, we used to go to McDonald's, now he's older and my brother's got a burger bus, we go there for a treat day. You like going bus, don't you? Yep. What have you had? I don't know, fries, toast, and some chicken nuggets. You had chips today, not fries. Chips and then. <laughs> um, yeah, and the brew. Yeah, yeah. He's gone back upstairs now. But yeah, so um, even though he's only been back at school two days, I'm like, right, when we've been to Nana's and you've tried your pants on and what have you, do you want to go to bus for your dinner? He's like, yeah. So... We went up there and then come back and had dinner. We've just finished dinner and he's gone upstairs out of the way, sort of. <laughs> he's popped down for his prawn crackers, also a treat day. Uh, treat day treat. He loves prawn crackers. Doesn't like takeout stuff or anything like that, but loves prawn crackers. And I'm sorry, I'm squinting. I'm facing the window and the sun suddenly decided to come out and he's blinding me, but I don't want to shut the blinds because it's really bright. But yes, so, like I said, I was just waffling anyway. Um, now, where had I got up to? <laughs> Not you can see the sun. Um, oh yeah, I was showing you the present. And I actually just had a quick flick back of the other video before coming back to do this one to see where I got up to. And I showed a little bit more than I wanted to of that, but never mind. Um... But yeah, so we've talked about going back to school, talked about holiday, talked about shopping craft all style thing. Um, I think I previously mentioned about, yeah, I have previously mentioned about changing some stuff around in the room. Um, I don't think there's a lot else to tell you. There, there was something. <laughs> There was something, um, and I can't think, oh, design team, that, that that's what it is. But before I do anything else, my kids are sadistic. Um, <laughs> the, soon, the, the, the second you mention to any of them about being back on plan, being on a diet or anything, they're like, do you want to go to there? Do you want to go there? We'd buy some chocolate. Josh, <laughs> one of my stepsons, decided it was really good fun. Previously, last in July, I'm going to say last month, but we're in September now. In July, it was grandbaby number three's second birthday, so they had a bit of a party at the house and everything. And um, yeah, obviously Josh with her, along with the other kids and what have you. Um, and while we're there, I was like, ooh, popcorn. <laughs> Josh is like, yeah, there's loads. And a candy floss maker as well. I was like, ooh. Very jokingly said to grandbaby number three's mum, I'm like, that, that, that bag of popcorn there might just be making its way on wheels later on. So if you, if you come down in the morning and it's not there, you know where it's gone. She laughed. She's like, yeah, take it by all means because we won't eat it all. Josh turned up with it here, uh, not last week, the week before, and a bag of popcorn. 
Yeah. It's all right. A bag of popcorn, you know, a cinema popcorn. Um, this is, although this is sweet and salt mixed. I don't like the salt. I love the cinema sweet popcorn. I don't like the salt one. This is a mixed bag. So I'm like, oh, it, bag of popcorn for you, Vic. Like, oh, lovely, great. <laughs> yeah lovely great what the freaking no <laughs> gonna do we all that <laughs> it is jam packed full oh gosh just says best before 20th of september but there's no weighted it or anything but yeah i've got a bag of popcorn for you Honestly, seriously, it's never going to get eaten. No, it's, it, no, it's not all going to get eaten. But if it was just sweet popcorn, now that's what I call cinema popcorn. That's what you'd get in buckets in cinema. If it was the sweet popcorn, it would have gone already by now. I'm sorry, guys, I forgot to turn my um, notifications off so you might hear some buzzing in the background. Um yeah, like I said, if it was just the sweet popcorn, that bag would be either half empty or the whole thing would have gone by now. I'd have eaten a lot. But it's got salt mixed in the salted popcorn and I don't like it. So it's never going to get eaten. Not all of it, anyway. I have had a fair do with it, though. So have some others, you know. What have you. Sorry, I'm going to have to just pause you and turn the notifications off. Okay, we're back. That's better. Um, But yeah. Like I said, some other kid, like kids and people coming and going have grabbed handfuls and off they've gone with them sort of thing. But that's not all going to get eaten. Um, but yeah, no, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, popcorn. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Now, like I said, if it was the sweet popcorn, it would have gone. <laughs> when I was pregnant with Taylor, 16 years ago, when I was pregnant with Taylor, I had... A huge craving for popcorn the cinema popcorn and as luck would have it at that particular time um, my eldest stepson Lee was working at the cinema <laughs> there were local cinema and he used to come home with boxes you know the big large boxes of popcorn that you can get he used to come home with them for me I'm like oh I love you <laughs> and then um, later on he went working at well the all all of them Apart from the youngest, they've all worked at KFC as well. Um, so they used to fetch on popcorn chicken. I had a thing for popcorn chicken as well. So they used to fetch on bundles of popcorn and little tub boxes. Josh especially used to fetch on big boxes of popcorn chicken. Honestly, it's no wonder I struggle losing weight. So, yeah, I fetched you some popcorn. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. <laughs> Honestly. Crazy. I wish it were just sweet popcorn. I'd have eaten it all. Stuff for diet. <laughs> Mad. Um, but yeah, so I don't know what else to say really, guys. What were I saying? Design team. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my gosh. Why do you guys watch these videos? Why do you keep coming back for more? Seriously. Um, right, design team. My design team. Um, you guys are amazing. I seriously love you all. Uh, <laughs> there was a huge boo-boo on one of the other videos. One of my kit videos, I believe. The Etsy shop kit video. I'd said about... Or was it the last... No, it wasn't the last chit chat video coffee and chat video it was the last kit video um i'd said about clicking below the link below for the freebies file and then i completely forgot to add the file and then we went on holiday <laughs> the video went live while we were on holiday so i couldn't do it because obviously i didn't have my pc with me and couldn't access the file so sorry um but today that freebies link will be in the description below please check on it um 
but no it will not be in the description below it will be in the comments below as a pinned comment from me because it's only available for a few weeks well, well for a few days or a few weeks at a time then i delete it and you know you wait till next time um but yeah i'll probably leave it up for a week or two anyway and i might just add it into a few other videos for anybody who doesn't watch this one but yeah um but the freebies link will be below um it's just a file with bits of freebie kits in well, not kits but parts of kits and scans and stuff that i just wasn't really happy with putting in a kit so i threw them in a freebies file folder and you guys then get access to it now design team everything's fine everything's running smooth great work guys admit you knocking out some amazing stuff i am now on the lookout for new design team members so anybody who's interested please contact me on the email below i will put my email below in the description so please contact me on that you do not have to have a youtube channel um you don't even really need to be active in the in the groups or anything like that laurie's part of my design team and she's not on social media other than youtube but you know you've all hopefully you've all seen excuse me her previous the previous video of her design team projects all you need to do is create something with the kits and send me some photos the photos need to be of a decent quality obviously not blurred so you can't tell what they are they don't have to be amazing but you need to be able to tell what it is and then if you are not on social media or you do not have a youtube channel or anything like that it doesn't matter send me the pictures and i will do like a um like i did with laurie and barb's videos um design team project i will add the photos in like a slideshow montage thing and add some music and i will do your flip through type thing for you if you do have a youtube video youtube channel fantastic you i'm not bothered how many subscribers you have i don't care if you've got one or a thousand you know if you want to be part of the design team please click uh send me an email on the link below on the email address below in the description um yep yeah. there's no specific hard and fast rules you do not have to create journals you have to create something <laughs> obviously you don't have it doesn't have to be a journal it could be ephemera it could be something else. it could be jewelry anything anything at all as long as you're using my stuff and you can i really 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 love it when my kits are used alongside other people's kits and i really do highly recommend recommend it up oh, highly recommend it but encourage it um because you know i wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for the help of others um but yeah so if you want to use my kits alongside others in design team projects that's fine but please follow their design team project terms and conditions as well because some people whose design teams you're on prefer you not to use other people's stuff along with theirs because obviously you're promoting them um you know yes promote me but also if you want to use my kits along with other people's then do so definitely do so if you're not on social media youtube and what have you and you're going to send me images of what you've designed what you've made with somebody else's designs as well as mine i need to know whose stuff you've used because i will add that myself i will give that credit to the people in the video that i make myself so yeah credit where credit's due always um yeah so there you go um if you have a youtube channel if you want to be part of the team and you have a youtube channel like i said email me drop the link to your channel in the email and then i can check it out as well not that it matters but i'll check it out anyway i might not know um but yeah um or if you know of anybody that you think might be interested send them my way you know show them this video or let them know give them the email address and let them contact me um just sort of like make the email header like design team co uh, design team application or whatever um likewise if you don't specifically want to be a design team member but you've made anything with the freebie stuff if you've accessed the freebie file and you make something 
just send it to me in an email, guys, and I'll show it off for you. You know, you don't have to do it as a project or anything like that. But if you, if you make something and you want to send me some pictures, tag me in Instagram, tag me on YouTube, uh, um, Facebook. You know, you can find me in the groups as well as the Facebook page. All my links are below as well. Um, but yeah, if you make anything, or even, even with the kits, if you've bought the kits, but you don't want to be a design team member, but you've bought the kits and made something, tag me in them, send them to me in an email and I'll, I'll show them off for you. I'm not bothered. Awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're, so if you're interested, then drop me a line. Um, and my brain's gone completely now, so I, I can't, I just don't even know what I was going to say. Um, that's what I were going to say, kits. Um, I knew there was something to do with design team. Um, yeah, besides looking for new design team members and what have you. Sneak peek time, guys. I'm working on another kit. This kit is 100%, well, I would say handmade. These are digitally made. Uh, they're not even digitally made, they're scanned and manipulated. Um, these are handmade. I've done a video on this previously. I will leave the link to that video below. Obviously, I didn't make the paper, but I made these using marker pens and water and just dabbing it in and smushing it around and then waiting for it to dry. Um, but then I have scanned these into the computer like like so oh my gosh i hope you can see that for the sun um yeah like so um i actually put them in one side and then the same ones I put in again on the reverse side. So you've got both front and back sides. They're very similar but slight differences with them being front and reverse images. There you go. And this is going to be a large kit, guys. I'm not splitting it up. It's just going to be a large kit. And then you've got each individual one as a full Um, thing then I believe yeah that is as far as I've got with it however there's going to be more because I've printed these out to then use my envelope template you probably can't see that because it's on clear acetate but I have an envelope template here so I'm going to use that to lay over the top draw around and cut out and then scan them in because I, I can't make envelope templates in the program that I use to do the kits because um, I'm using a very basic program I don't use Photoshop or anything so I'm useless um, yeah, you get my journal cards and sizes and stuff like that then full sizes um, I will also be making tags I'll also be making some tags, cutting these out and making them tag shapes and then scanning them. That's how I did my tag basis kit. I made them up by hand myself and cut the tag shapes out and then laid them out onto a plain piece of paper and scanned it. Um, I don't create the tag template and then put the, pic the images in it. I do it all by hand because I don't know how to do that. Um, but yeah. But what I thought were, to do these next little bits of this kit, I think I'll do it on camera, just to show you guys how it's done. Or how I do it, anyway. So, it's not going to be anytime soon, because there's going to be a lot of work, a lot more work involved in doing this kit. But when it's done, it's going to be a large kit. But it's all, like, pretty pastels, background style stuff. They are basically back like background print for layering and stuff like that but they're also they'd also look really nice as they are um yeah and then i'm not sure if i showed this off i don't think i did but as a sneak peek of what else is to come there's a new labels kit coming um 
but yeah so there you go the next kit that i'm working on and like i said design team and all sorts of other stuff and why do i suddenly look orange <laughs> that's better um but yeah but anyway this out this video is probably about an hour long now because i've had to stop and start a couple of times as well as adding on to the other video which were god knows how long and the fans due back any second now so um yep yeah, i'm gonna love you and leave you guys thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me i hope you haven't been too bored do you know what just put me on times too and listen to me speak talk like a chipmunk you get through it in half the time um but yes so thanks very much for watching guys thank you so much so so much thank you for all your support and getting us to 1000 subscribers awesome um there is going to be a giveaway spoilers again there is going to be a giveaway 1000 subbies giveaway but it won't be yet because i'm still working on something i have something coming for myself which i will show off on the channel when it gets here i have something coming for myself that i also want to get another one for the winner of the 1000 subbies giveaway but i want to know what it looks like before ordering another one to do the giveaway like to do as a giveaway prize so i know very cryptic i know but there is one coming so yeah hold tight and there'll be a big hoo-ha about that when it's time um but like i said i'm it's actually supposed to be even monday fingers crossed um but once that comes and i've viewed it and if i like it which i'm suspecting i will then i'll be ordering another one um it only it's only taken a week for them to do it um from me ordering it to them dispatching it that is but once that's come and i've looked at it and i if i decide oh yes i like it that's what i want i'll be ordering another one slightly different but another one and then when that comes i'll do the giveaway because that will be the prize but other than that, <laughs> um, I'm going because I've just got to that. I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about stage and I'm waffling. So, yeah, I will speak to you guys very soon. Um, like I said uh, right at the beginning of the video, keep posted, keep your eyes peeled and posted on the channel every Monday, Wednesday and Friday for videos. Um I don't know what time they go out around the world. All I know is USA time. It's between, I think it's somewhere between 5 and 7 p.m. Here in the UK, it is 12.15 a.m. Like quarter past midnight. Um, like I said, I'm not sure where else you are. It's GMT time anyway. I'm not sure what time it'll they'll go out everywhere else. But here in the UK, it's quarter past midnight GM time. GMT time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. America, I'm sure it's between 5 and 7, depending which parts you're in. Um, but every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, there will be a video. Other ones in between, as and when I do them. Not always, but as and when I do them. And also, like I said, check out that community tab. Um, go to the home page and check out that community tab. And, yeah, for updates and stuff. Um, and yeah, and other than that, I will see you soon, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.